So tell me what prompted the idea for this tour, and this is the first time this type of thing has been offered? Uh, that's correct. Um, what we wanted to do, and we've wanted to do this for a long time, is to be able to make the de Brock more available for the, the visiting public, to be able to come and, and experience her history, and to be able to come and have more contact with the hall itself. And this event today is sort of the initiation of that. And each, um, the, how many sessions will there be? And each one will sort of have a little different twist, a little bit of different information each time? Right, there, will be, there will be on Mondays throughout the summer. There will be a basic lecture that provides an overview of the archaeology and history. And then there will be certain selected objects that talk about a, a specific aspect. It might be naval hygiene or um, British Marines or ceramics or something like that. You would come forward, you would get your rum ration, the surgeon and the purser would be standing there. And uh, they would, they, he would draw the rum out, the lemon juice would be put in it, and then you had to stand there and drink it in front of the surgeon. He wanted to make sure that you were not taking it back and keeping it for other occasions. <laughs> and um, so, so in a, this is a, 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 an improvement in terms of health and, and hygiene that a, a, an 18th century uh, naval crew um, would, would, would have benefit of. That'll complement the main uh, exhibit, or excuse me, the, ma the main um, lecture. And then once that's done, the visitor will be uh, put in a vehicle and then brought over, and there'll be another lecture on the hall. Why do you think the de Brock continues to fascinate people even though there was no treasure? Well, shipwrecks interest people uh, regardless. Uh, there's a great deal of mystique around them, and de Brock certainly had, a, had acquired that. And then over the years, as we've worked with her, we've gradually gotten her story out, and people still feel that the uh, story of her Royal Navy service and why she's here and life aboard these ships is as a compelling one. Do you think there might be some treasure still underneath there, or do some people think that? No. No. This is a workhorse of the Royal Navy. That's its value. And that, that's the true treasure, is the, the, uh, the opportunity De, De Brock provides us to be able to see into Royal Navy history, seafaring history of the late 18th century.